Hello everyone, welcome back to my another video series on a backtrack. Hope you enjoyed my previous videos. So these few weeks uh, I was quite busy and could not make any new videos. Uh, sorry for that. So uh, today I was quite free and thought of making another video on a netcat. So netcat is quite a useful tool. You can um, go uh, Google search and have a look on the background. And uh, I think it's quite a useful tool. It can run both in a, a Linux and in Windows version. So let's just go start our netcat. Before doing your netcat, let me just show my IP share, local IP. So let's just go and start a netcat. Command would be netcat uh, and she, so you give, give a lot, lot of options over here. You can go and have a look and try it your own. So I'll be using some few of these. The option a few of you option over here so first option would be uh, uh, doing a simple port scanning and a banner grabbing so netcat dash v so if i'm using nv you can see over here is dash v for verbals and if i'm using n is option for numeric ip only no tns so so IP only if I need to find out the IP. So let's just try for okay I found our IP. So just copy this one. Uh, port eighty. So you can already see. Port 80 is open. So let's try another sim. Neck. Mm. Mm, for for you can see it's already put it open. So let's try another again. Mm. No, let's try 22. HSH secure FTP. So it's taking quite long time. That means the port may not be open over there. <coughs> this is how you can do a simple uh, port scanning and also a banner grabbing. So it, it may take quite a few uh, time to do a banner grabbing or may be successful or may not be successful. So Okay, let's try. Let's do another useful uh, mm, uh, option in the uh, netcat. It's a uh, port listening. It can listen port in the both uh, TCP and UDP. So let me just start up. Uh, okay, port scanning option. Hope you can go over see here. Mm, netcat. Uh, L three P. So if you go over here and see, is L is command for listening port, and V for verbals and P for the port number. So my IP and let me try port is. Let me try for four. So listening. So it is listening on port four 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 four. And uh, anyone who will uh, try to connect using NCAT on this port will be able to connect to this machine. So I'll be try trying to connect from another my uh, machine. So I'll be using another Udus computer. Uh, okay, I can no, no, come on over here and, and see. And, and get. Uh, and cut on uh, and cut on IP address 555. Five, five. So, my IP address is over here. So, let's go and run and cut on 10. Uh, let's do bubbles on 10. So, that one, that one, that one, that one, that one, that one, 5. 
and port is 234 connected so if you go over here and see here is a little connected so you can do a simple chat over here you can see over there so quite difficult to show you the both in the same time so You can go over here and here. And you go over here and see. You see this how you can uh, do a port listening and, and do a quite more thing. Uh, so just a simple chat over here. So this is how you can do a port listening uh, you know uh, using a NCAT so anybody who is trying to connect on the same uh, port uh, will be able to connect using an NCAT and uh, and there is no any encryption or anything uh, set up so it's quite uh, if you are running it's quite dangerous for uh, doing anything so another useful command would be Mm, let's just stop this one uh, with the file transfer you can also do a file transfer using a NCAT so okay let me st start over here on a mm, NCAT uh, would be listening port and listener and port would be uh, let me try on the same port and over here if you keep the output is let me transfer test chat shape mjpg or jjpg So I'll be transferring file from another candidate. So what it actually is doing is listening on port four four four, and uh, anything that uh, is uh, is coming under traffic, it will go and save on this file tested JPG. So if you go over here and I try to s connect over there and send a file. So you see connected to an unknown from this IP. So if you go over here in a big store, uh, we'll go over here. Here is a tested GPG file. So I think this is. Uh, Or you can also do if we cannot open this file see you can already see the file is already over transferred over here and this is how you can transfer a file using a netcat you can tra also transfer the document file or anything using a netcat so mm, quite useful this is a quite useful option you know and can see you need to wait for some few uh, long time and eh? you can see it's already finished and you can see the file is already transferred over here so another option in a NCAT would be um, using a remote administrative tool remote administration with quite 
and it's quite dangerous i think and if you want someone if you uh, uh, if you want to remote or uh, remote administrative support or something like that you can use also user and cat and uh, so let's just go and see over this one uh, and cat option so you can also uh, like uh, you need to bind a exe file that can be ex executable in a uh, administrative mode in a remote command so uh, let's just uh, start our if uh, in the windows machine i go over here and use ncat option to do uh, a uh, port listening on foo -foo -foo -foo, and the command would be there's e if you go over c here is a file name or program exe after connect so after connection is made the this file would be executed so if i keep cmd exe so it's listening on port uh 4444 4, 4, 4, and anybody connect on this port uh, would be able to access the command prompt so from the uh, backtrack machine let's go and uh, try to connect on this um, on this port so This port would be <coughs> mm, IP of that won't be ten dot one dot one dot four on port is one two three four. So you can already see I have a command from access over the remote machine so you can do and you can do anything that you want you can do like you can see you can see the list of the file and this is how you can also bind a exe file over netcat and do a command execution but you must remember that the person who is allowing uh, you to do a remote connection over a netcat must be uh, yeah, provide you a port on which you will be able to connect so this is how you can do a remote uh, administrative connection using a netcat so this is how you buy an exe command and cat so i think uh, that's all for this video mm. and you can go and have on your try out your own and try to perform more option over here so that's all for this video thank you and hope in the next video will be i'll try to go and do some uh, uh whatsapp command and the filtering and all that option in a whatsapp so uh thanks for watching be in touch thank you